Good afternoon. Animal feedings at the bio park are raising some eyebrows, but zookeepers say the new way they're feeding mimics what these animals would do in the wild. News 13's Francesca Washington is live at the zoo with the story. Zoo-goers say they were surprised to see animal carcasses hanging from trees in the middle of the day. Spotted around the zoo, bungee cords and zip lines. This is the type of thing that we could, we could easily put um, a carcass on, um, whether it be a goat or a rabbit or even um, a rat. Senior zookeeper Valerie Chavez says it's a new way they're feeding some of the animals. They'd actually have to work at it and so they would you know be able to pull chunks of it at a time um, and actually would, it's kind of like fighting back so they'd actually have to get their claws in there and sink their teeth in and, and kind of mock like they're killing it. And it's catching people's attention. If it's something that would happen naturally in the wild I would think do it. If it's something where you're just creating some false little excitement for the crowd that has nothing to do with how they would naturally be. I would say don't do it. Over the weekend, a viewer snapped this photo of a rabbit hanging in the Tasmanian Devil exhibit, saying some parents were concerned about their kids seeing the carcass. I think it needs to be age appropriate. And I think that people need to know ahead of time that it's happening yeah. so that they can make their own decision. Chavez says the feedings typically draw a huge crowd, but they have gotten a few complaints. There are the few that, um, you know, don't care to see that, and that's understandable, but we do have signs on all of the exhibits that have um, carcass feed or whole prey items in the exhibit. Chavez says they typically do carcass feeds early in the morning, and feeding them this way stimulates them and keeps them more active. They love it. Um, it uh, promotes natural instincts of wanting to catch things and uh, take it down so that they can eat it. Zookeepers say they use the bungee cords for more than just feeding. Sometimes they'll just hang toys for the animals to play with. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Francesca. Now, biopark officials tell us the animals they use for the feeding are humanely euthanized, and they come from a vendor approved by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums.